<sighs> Hello. So today is the 11th of August 2013. So four days ago, believe it or not, was my one year anniversary of my YouTube channel, Thatcher Joe. That has honestly flown by so quickly. So as it's been one year since I started making videos for you all, I thought I'd tell you my YouTube story. I guess it all started back when I was younger. My parents used to record me and my sister growing up a lot. And they used to film us from when we were they didn't actually film the birth, that would be a bit gross. But they filmed us from when we were babies, all the way up to like the age of... Well, they've been filming us all our lives. <laughs> but as I was growing up from school, I was always interested in being the plays. I once played Joseph, the carpenter from Bible times. And I also played Odysseus, who was a, the main man in that Greek film. No? He was the main guy in that Greek thing. No, what was he actually in? I also played Odysseus, he's one of the main Greek guys in one of his mythology plays. Um, but I did love being on stage and being part of a production. I also used to buy stacks of blank tapes, and I used to put them into a tape recorder and record myself and my friends, and we'd make little shows. And I think that's one of the reasons why I was really into that sort of thing, which led to YouTube. When I reached secondary school, I was really into media, and I picked media for my GCSEs. It was by far one of my favourite subjects, and my teacher was great and helped me a lot. And I ended up getting an A star, I think. Did I get an A star? I can't remember. I did get an A star. Media studies at GCSE really helped me understand the basics of media and how things like this actually work. After that, came the decision to do A level. Now, A level media studies was a lot harder. Uh, I didn't do as well. Actually, no, I did do good. I got an A, I think. I think I got an A. So after my A-levels, obviously, I went full-time as a roof thatcher. If you don't know what that is, it's making old English roofs out of straw that you grow in a field, like wheat straw. That's, is that, that's my impression of a bit of straw. <laughs> yeah. My sister had started her blog by then, and she was just starting to get into the whole YouTube thing. My sister showed me a video on YouTube of Jack Harry's doing pranks in a lift. And after watching that, I sort of thought to myself, that looks really, really fun. I want to I have a go at this. And of course, my sister was getting into it. And so I thought, if you can do it, I can do it. You know, a little bit of sibling rivalry. Anything you can do, I can do better. Anything you can do better than me. Now, how's that song go? I think it was a Primark haul. I featured very, very briefly in her video of that. I noticed from reading through the comments, a lot of the comments were like, oh my god, your brother, that's, I want to see more videos of your brother, please have your brother in your next video, your brother, your brother, your brother. But I remember one afternoon, I had a really bad hangover, and my sister was like, Joe, we need to film a video together right now. And I was like, oh, this is like the worst day you could pick. Nevertheless, she got her own way, and I starred in a video that you may well know on her channel called The Sibling Tag. This is my sibling. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Joe. Joseph. My name is Joseph. Is it Joe or Joseph? My name is Joseph. I only look about seven. One of the main comments that kept cropping up was, please get your brother to make his own YouTube channel. So then I started in a video called My Brother Does My Makeup Tag, which also went down a storm. Once again, most of the comments were like, Joe needs his own YouTube channel, la 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 la. And I thought, you know what? I am really tempted to give this a go. Now, my sister was talking to Alfie on Skype one day, and I came to the room to say hello. Look at the comments, Joe. You should really make your own YouTube channel. I honestly thought they were joking. So I was like, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, I'll, do, I'll, make, I'll, make, I'll make my first video next week. And so a week had passed, and Alfie said to me, Joe, where's your first video? Oh, I thought you were joke. I thought we were, I thought we were having a little joke together. I thought you were joking. No. I was like, oh, okay. Um, tell you what, I'll make one for next Sunday. So that week, me and my sister sat down one, one Saturday afternoon, and we made my very first YouTube video, which went a little like this. Hello. Basically, this is just a quick introductory video for my YouTube account that I've started. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about myself. My name's Joe. I'm 20 years old. I was born on the 8th of September, 1991, which makes me 20. Yeah. Terrible, I know, but you've got to start somewhere, right? I had no equipment. I didn't have a camera. I didn't have a laptop to edit it on. So to start with, my sister actually made my first video for me. My subscribers just grew and grew, and I was thinking, what? Is this even real? I was so shocked, and I used to sit there and just read through every single comment like, oh, people like me. So then shortly after my first video, I attended a gathering in London called Summer in the City, and for me, it was like nothing, because like, I think like three people came up to me and asked for a photo, and that to me was honestly such a special moment for me, having people come up to me, recognize me from that one video, 
and want a photo with me and get, even get me to like sign stuff like write my bank signature because I didn't even have an autograph after Summer in the City my focus on YouTube increased big time. It's like once you set your sight on something and you want something that bad, you just get there and you do it. So I invested in a camera, I invested in a tripod that I'm using now. Very happy with it as well. Good tripod is. And my channel just grew and grew and grew and then I started to collab with other YouTubers. It honestly just snowballed. It was snowballing and it's still snowballing now which still blows my mind. And obviously through YouTube I've met some amazing YouTubers. And after that it felt like a door had opened up to so many more opportunities. I've been flown out to LA to Simon Cowell's mansion to do an interview with him. I've been invited to VidCon which I recently attended which was honestly insane. I'm going to be presenting on the main stage at Summer in the City with Jim Chapman, which I'm petrified about. Now, as I'm creating this video for you lot, I currently have 628,414 subscribers, and I honestly cannot thank you enough for subscribing, for commenting on my videos, for liking my videos, just for being loyal people and enjoying what I do as much as I do. People have often said, oh, you're only where you are now because your sister, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not gonna deny that. Those comments don't affect me in the slightest because I agree with you. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my sister helping me. So yeah, that is my YouTube story so far. It has been an incredible year. Like this year has flown by so quickly because of the amount of cool things I'm doing right now. There's so much stuff in the future to look forward to on this channel. I'm just trying to hype it up so you stay subscribed. Please don't leave me, please don't leave me. You are the reason why I do this. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up because that means I. Oh, yeah. I love you all. Bye. That's the worst. That's the worst heart shape ever.